Hi students, welcome back to Appleby Academy's classes. So in this video, we are going to discuss about product life cycle. So when you're dealing with the unit marketing management, we know that we are mainly discussing about the four P's in this particular unit. Okay, all these four P's are very, very important. So when you're just coming to the first P that is product, a very important topic which you need to deal under that particular P is about product life cycle. So we can just go through the question which got asked in December 2021 and June 2022 merge cycle on shift 1. So here you have uh, a match the following question and in which list 1 is saying about the different stages of product life cycle and list 2 is giving you the details about the pricing strategy which you need to adopt in different stages. Okay, so uh, if you know about the different stages of product life cycle then it will be it will be easy for you to identify the strategy which you can adopt in a, each of these stages. Okay, so you need to match them properly. So let's start with the topic product life cycle. So product life cycle, what do you mean by the by this concept product life cycle? So it is about the life of that particular product. We know that a product that will start with its uh, introduction stage, then it will grow, then it will reach its maturity and after that it will go to decline stage. These are the four stages that we are mainly discussing discussing under product life cycle. So let's see the concept of product life cycle we will say PLC concerns the life of product in the market with respect to business or commercial cost and sales measures. So this uh, product life cycle proceeds through a multiple of phases okay and we know that in each of these phases they will uh, receive some of the benefits or in each of these phases they need to fe uh, feel some challenges okay so in each stages or in each part of this product life cycle it can give them challenges and opportunities also so it is important for the company or it is important for that particular concern to uh, to cope up with all these challenges and to uh, exploit all the opportunities which they are getting through the different stages of product life cycle and we'll start with the first stage that is introduction stage that's the first stage uh, through which the product is going so when you're starting with this first stage when you are considering about the sales of this particular concern so we'll, we know that this is the introduction stage so the sales is not like a huge sales will be there it is just starting that is the uh, it's a very few amount of sales will happen at uh, these stages okay and the growth is also very 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 slow Okay, so it is just starting. Okay, so the profit received from the product is also nominal and sometimes uh, during this first stage it is just like they are not going to receive any profit because they just started. Okay, the product just started its life. So at this stage it will be very difficult for them to earn profit. So at this stage mostly they are uh, in a situation like they are not able to earn any profit. And when you are considering about the method of uh, pricing which you need to adopt at this particular stage, it is always better to adopt cost plus pricing method. What do you mean by this cost plus pricing method? Cost plus pricing method means you are charging the entire cost for that particular product plus you are adding some percentage of profit to it. Okay, so like uh, the cost for uh, manufacturing that particular product is like 100 rupees. Maybe you will charge extra 10 rupees as your profit. So 110 will be its a price. So that is the pricing strategy that you are going to adopt or you need to adopt the stage at, at which stage introduction stage. Okay, so this is the first stage and after that it will go to growing stage or growth stage. So when you're coming to this particular stage, here when you're considering about the sales, now the sales got grown. Okay, so you can see that there is an increase is happening in case of a sales growth. Okay, so the product has habitual consumers and there is a quick growth in the product sale. Now the sales got increased by this stage. Okay, so more customers are becoming aware of the product and trying it. So at this stage, mostly they will get some habitual customers. Okay, that means the customers who are coming uh, for purchasing this particular product regularly and you will find new customers okay again, again and again uh, by word of mouth or through some publicity uh, more consumers will come through uh, come through this stage or at this stage more customers will be there for purchasing your product and when you're saying about the price which is to be uh, you, which, the price strategy which you need to adopt at this stage is, is about the price to penetrate market so here the uh, the, the objective of uh, your pricing policy is that you need to get maximum customers 
okay so the price which is acceptable for the market or which is needed to penetrate that complete market will be adopted okay and when you just considering about the ratio of the product repetition for the trial procurement has risen that means most of the consumers are using it again and again and when you are just considering about the competition that will also increase because the competitors will identify that okay this product is getting more reach through the customer so they will also comes to this particular stage so there is an increased competition also result in decreasing the product price cost reduced due to economies of scale here the company will receive an advantage what is that economies of scale because they are making a huge production uh, they got a huge sales through which their per unit cost of that particular product will be uh, reduced okay as a way that they will be able to sell their product in reduced price or whichever which is favorable for their market to penetrate the market okay or growth stage they will move to maturity stage so maturity stage is the stage where which the product is at its uh, like the sale is at its maximum okay sale is at peak so the cost of the product has been decreased because of increased volume so here also we know that the volume is increasing the new customers are coming uh, they are purchasing your product so as a result here also your per unit cost is declining okay and when you're just considering about the sale we know that sale is at a peak okay the maximum sale that you will get through this maturity stage and we're not just considering about the price the price to match with competitor so here there is an increased competition is there so it is better to uh, identify and it is better to cop up with the price which is followed by the competitor okay so you will just find some price to 
match with your competitor or it can be like you you can use the price strategy to beat your competitor if you are just like a market leader okay and at this stage the important point which you need to consider is about brand differentiation brand differentiation and feature diversification is emphasized to maintain or increase market share so at this maturity stage you will give more importance to your brand okay the, the customer should be able to identify your brand separately from your competitors so you will give more focus on that particular area okay anyway this is a stage where your sales is at peak and your profit is maximum and the the pricing strategy which you need to adopt under this particular stage is like you need to compare it with your you need to cope with your competitor or if you are a market leader you can use a price, pricing strategy you know to beat your competitor okay so after this stage it will reach a stage like decline stage this decline means everything is declining your sales is declining your profit is declining so entirely the product benefit is declining okay the profit as well as the sales of the product has started to decline the market for the product in this stage has started to show a negative rate of growth and corroding cash flow so what will happen now the growth is just like negative growth or growth is not actually happening in case of this particular product because maximum you got achieved by the maturity stage so nothing is going to improve by this particular stage and when you're just considering about your sales volume and profit volume you can see that that got reduced or that got declined and what you will do with related to price during this stage you will cut your prices or you will reduce your prices okay because you need to uh, you need to exist in that particular market or you need uh, your customers again so here the only strategy you can adopt is that you can reduce your price or you can cut your price so as we already discussed profitability will also diminish okay so when you're just going through these stages in all these stages we mainly discussed about the uh, what what all things which is going to happen to sales profit competition and also the pricing strategy okay and it is it is important that you should go through also the different strategies like promotion strategy or uh, when is when it is something related to the product features or uh, then uh, the promotion strategy all these are important okay so when you are just preparing uh, through this particular topic you should give focus to other piece also okay and now we are coming back to this question say we will start with the first stage which is the first stage the first stage is introduction so what is the pricing strategy which you need to adopt during this particular stage introduction we already discussed that you can charge cost plus pricing so which is directly given in your um, list 2 that is option 2 so you can actually match d with 2 okay d2 is confirm so yes here you have two options uh, which got the correct option d2 so you can eliminate option b and option d now you have option a and option c okay again we will come back to uh, the second stage after introduction which is the second stage it is growth stage right so during growth stage what is the pricing strategy you need to follow the price to penetrate the market yes price to penetrate the market so see you can actually match with four right so d with the two and c with three right i'm i'm sorry c with four d with this charge uh, cost plus price that means d2 and uh, growth stage c you can actually connect with the price to penetrate market so d2 and c4 d2 c4 yes you can come comes to this particular option option c because here it is given like c1 so anyway by identifying two items in that particular list it will be very easy for you to answer this question and you will just go through the other options also then what about maturity stage during maturity stage what you have to do you have to uh, the price to match or beat competitors price yes that is also correct so you can actually match b with 1 finally in decline stage what you will do you need to cut your price that means price reduction so a3 right so a3 b1 c4 d2 so the correct answer for this question is option c 
So in this video, we mainly discussed about product life cycle. So which all are the stages in a particular product's life. And we also also discussed the major features that uh, that the particular product is going to receive at each of these stages. Okay, just very important. This time they just got asked you about the pricing strategy. Next time they can actually uh, ask through promotion strategy or something like that. So every aspect is very important. So I hope this video will help you for your preparation. Thank you and happy learning.